Good afternoon. <gasps> Good evening. Good evening. Are we staying in tonight? We're staying in, but we're salvaging the vlog because for a second there I was going to say no vlog and we'll live stream tomorrow. Maybe we'll still live stream. <laughs> But we're vlogging. Yay! <coughs> hey, -oh, Yay. welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Eve has the same mentality that I have right now. Our bodies are doing the same thing. This is me in the vlog. I promise I'll get myself together shortly. I had such an insane work week that I think my body, once five o'clock hit, acknowledged what my my mind and my emotions what weren't and just was like, you're here. You made it to the weekend and it's a three-day weekend. Shut it down. Yeah. And I literally fell asleep on the couch. And it's funny because I got like totally ready to go out, had dinner right at five. I'm going to put in a little clip of dinner that we took earlier here. This is a random clip in the random miss part of the vlog since we haven't started the vlog yet. But this baby just woke up from a long nap. Bare necessities. And this is a delicious looking dinner that Sarah just made. Avocado toast, potatoes, buffalo Coffee. cauliflower, soy cauliflower. Soy sauce. Sweet and sour. Beautiful woman. But instead it looks like I might go, I think I'm about to go around to Publix, get some Red Bulls. Hey -o. Get some vegan ice cream. Hey -o. And some milk. Yeah, we just need some milk because we got Christmas hot chocolate that we got to either, like, it's very Christmassy on our counter, so it's yeah, going to so be like it. freaked out that we got. My baby's obsessed with me. He really is. Look at him stare at me. <laughs> I love you. We're doing tummy time on me right now. He's got a little bit of milk. Anyway, three day weekend, work hard, <laughs> er, and I'm about to tear apart a closet tonight instead of going out. But don't be worried if you're like worried for any reason. We have a very eventful Disney theme park oriented weekend. We just don't have plans for Monday yet, but I have some ideas. But Saturday and Sunday are kind of locked up and we're probably going to go live right yeah. tomorrow yeah got the camera out got the cam the battery didn't charge fully oh that's irritating off to Publix for a quick run then packing demolish dem demolition oh, I thought we just decided on a cozy night at home but with some packing I'm putting back together at a table Someone seems to love Lilo and Stitch. Yeah, he's found his hands. But he likes to gag himself now. Yeah, and he also touched his feet for the first time today. He's got these rattle socks. Look. He's in love with them, too. Just being 100% honest, I am going to miss Publix when we're in Chicago, but the hope is we come down so frequently that we even go to places like Publix when we're here. Well, if this doesn't look like a celebratory beginning of a three-day weekend, I don't know what does. Also, we were a little responsible and I got some TV. All right, we got Ben and Jerry's Coconut oh. Seven Layer Bar. So delicious, Vance Foster. And Grant is over here complaining about how he can't drink Red Bull anymore, even though we're supposed to drink Red Bull on the entire drive up to Chicago. He luxurious and spacious. Have you told people on the vlog the news? Yeah. What news? Wait, what are you talking about? Not your news. No, not your news. We ain't dropping that till it's official. Look at that baby. Oh! And we got Red Bulls. I think we're going to watch King of Staten Island. I have an issue. I can't not finish this whole thing. <laughs> so I thought that I was being cool and finished my ice cream for once. Like Peter. But he didn't, he has leftovers. So before I would always have ice cream and be like, do you want some if you, but he's like, no, I, I finished mine. But now this time, he's got leftovers. We're never gonna finish this movie. Why? Cause we're 21 minutes into it and it's been 45 <laughs> minutes since we started it. 
<laughs> but we keep on having to do stuff. I had to get in comfies. I had to play with our puppy. And our child is... Muki, mukish today. I feel like he's, like, found his hands, found his mouth. He's just discovering the He's world. a very, um, self-realized human being. Yeah. He's going to be the next Emerson Thoreau. Is that the right name? <laughs> He was laying in a way she's never laid before. She looks so adorable and also kind of angry right now. Ask us, have we finished watching this movie? <laughs> Hold on. Sarah, have we finished the movie? No, we've we been will... watching it for <laughs> four hours. We, we still have like 45 minutes, I think. I think it's like 22. Okay. <laughs> Let's go check. Okay. But we were we hit, we hit a good stride. Mm -hmm. And then some very distracting people had to call us. Yes. Christina and Grant called us. Yeah. And like I was FaceTiming Christina from my phone and Peter's FaceTiming Grant from his phone. Because like, okay. it's hard to sometimes interrupt you and Christina because you guys start vibing so much on different things. And then I feel like I don't want to get like eye glares from either of you. Not that you guys do that. So I just called Grant myself. Yeah. They're working on something similar to what we're working on. <laughs> now that he is good and zonked. Don't mind my Dr. Pepper in the background. Now that he's good and zonked, we might actually finish this movie. What's this one called? The uh, Charleston. Oh. Yes. We finally <laughs> finished the movie. And the babe woke up. He just woke up because I was jamming. Yeah. So he's got that like startled wake up. Where am I look? <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> The big yawn. He's been so vocal today. Alright. Your dad's gotta go. You gotta hang out with your mom. <laughs> Goodbye. I gotta go on a run. You're going? Yeah. Want to know the biggest key to me going out on late runs? You gotta start your Garmin or whatever your device is before the stroke of midnight. Because then when you stop it, it clocks it into that day. It is 11.47. By the time I stop rambling to this electronics device, walk downstairs and cross the street where I get ready, it'll be like 11.55. And I'll start that Garmin right before midnight. Only going for three miles. I was going to go for six earlier today. I was like, I'm going to go for six. Longest in a while. But that was when I wanted to go to like 8 o'clock since we stayed home. It's now 11.47. So I got to go because I still want to pack up some stuff tonight. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Can you tell that we didn't go out and I had a Red Bull? It's a bit windy, but this is how far I'm going on my run today. Not making Spark Avenue, but... Oh, it's so dark. I dropped the ball, everybody. The Park Avenue 5K by Track Shack is tomorrow morning at 7.30. In seven hours, it's going on. I have work in the morning to do, so it's probably better anyway. Plus, it's sold out because of the limit limitations because of COVID. But Sarah just found out on Instagram that one of our favorite run Disney MCs is going to be there. They hinted that Carissa Galloway is going to be there. So I'm super jealous. I wish Sarah James and I could go just at least see it. But considering it's in seven hours, I'm on a run, baby, work. I don't think so. But maybe you never know. You never know. We are headed to bed. Daily message. The secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. Another daily message really hitting it in the truth it's by Dan Millman. He loves the daddy arm rock the wave. He does. You can see it's fighting now. Mm-hmm. Oh no. <gasps> okay. We have the cutest puppy. It's it's just a fact. I think she's literally the cutest dog to ever exist. I'm proud of you for getting out and running. I did not think that was happening. I did not think so either. We got a rock still. We love you guys. We love you guys. Disney World heavy the next two days, so yes. get ready. Yes, yes. Maybe three days. We haven't talked about Monday yet, but I got some ideas. You never know. We do want to hit Universal like more than once before we move. And it's so hard because it closes so early. So early. Um, so we'll have to take advantage of some weekends there. But next two days for sure, Walt Disney World.
It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Listen to Hamilton. Who else lullabies their children to Hamilton? Face <laughs> face to face, I, I have the honor to be your obedient servant. J. Brookhart. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.